010203, Process Tree Snapshots. So the snapshots we took in the previous movie were in a linear fashion. What we're going to talk about now is taking process tree snapshots. And let's look inside our snapshot manager real quick. And what we've got here is we've got Friday 3 p.m. version and Friday 3 10 p.m. version built upon Friday 3 p.m. version. And right now we're down here and we're building upon Friday 3 10 p.m. version. What you can actually do in ESX Server is you can create a version that is built upon a previous snapshot and you can keep going, building upon that snapshot and what you'll have is a tree. So let's demonstrate this. It's a lot easier to see than to explain, I think. So let's go ahead. Let's revert back to Friday 3 p.m. version. I'm going to select Go To. It says the current state of the machine will be lost unless it has been saved in a snapshot. That's fine. I'll click Yes and Close. And we can see that it's reverting back. Okay, it's complete. Now let's go back to our virtual machine, and I'm going to expand this out or open this text document. And this was our original text that we had in the text document when we took that Friday 3 p.m. version snapshot. And I'm going to call this one Friday 3.02 p.m. version. And let me save it. I'll close it. Let's call this Friday 3.02 p.m. version. Click OK. Let's go back, and we can see the progress of the snapshot. And it's complete. Let's take a look at our snapshot manager. Now what we have is we have two versions that build upon Friday 3 p.m. version. As you can see, it's no longer in a linear fashion. We've got two children of Friday 3 p.m. version that are separate. Now let's expand this out further so we can really see what's going on. I'm going to close out of this. Let's make another change. I'm going to call this Friday 3.07 p.m. version. Click Save. And close out. Let's take another snapshot in Friday 3.07 p.m. version. In the real world, we'll definitely want to put a description because you'll see how complex this can get. Click OK. Go back and this will just take a second. And it's complete. I'm going to right click on our virtual machine, go back to our snapshot manager. And notice now Friday 3.02 p.m. version has a child. So you can see how now we're building off of 3.02. Well, let's say we want to revert back to Friday 3.10 p.m. version and start building off of that. So I'm going to select Friday 3.10 p.m. version, select Go To, Yes, close out, and we'll make one more snapshot that will build off of Friday 3.10 p.m. version, and you'll really be able to see how this can get complex and how important it is to put a description in the description field so you can see where you are at exactly as far as the snapshot goes, completed, and the screen came back there. So let's open up Friday 3.10 p.m. version. Our text, notice it says Friday 3.10 p.m. version. Now let's create one that's Friday 3.15 p.m. version. I'm going to save it, close out of it, take another snapshot, Friday 3.15 p.m. version. Click OK. Eight percent 65%, and it's complete. Let's go to our snapshot manager. And there, now you can truly see how this has become a process tree snapshot because what we've got, we've got Friday 3 p.m. version, which is our base image, Friday 3.10 p.m. version, and Friday 3.15 p.m. version is built upon Friday 3.10 p.m. version. Now down below it, we've got Friday 3.02 p.m. version, which is built off of Friday 3 p.m. version, and Friday 3.07 p.m. version, which is built off of Friday 3.10 p.m. version. So you can see it can get really complex. And as you're going back and forth between snapshots, you want to be able to highlight it. And you want to be able to see the description here. So it's really critical to put the description in the description field. So that's the process tree style of taking snapshots.